All right, so you're getting a bid for SWIP. Uh, let's talk about concrete washout options. Now, there are several different things that you might see uh, in terms of options for concrete washouts. Some of them include uh, roll-off bins that are very large, maybe the size of a dumpster, uh, that can be filled up. They, they have tons of space and can be filled up uh, and then dragged off and, and removed from the site. You also have smaller bins that can be dropped off, but those can also be uh, filled up and then taken off site to be dumped. Now, keep in mind, when you have something like that, you're going to see a couple of different charges on your uh, estimate when you're getting the estimate. You're going to see the cost for delivering the uh, the box, the roll-off container or the, or the big metal uh, box. You're going to see that cost. Then you're also going to see a cost for dumping that. There's going to be a dump fee associated with it. And some places also charge or some companies also charge uh, a rental fee for just leaving the box out on your site. Um, the good ones won't charge a fee just for leaving it there, but, but you will get a charge for them picking it up and uh, disposing of the concrete. Now, another option for concrete washouts is something that is disposable. Um, there are lots of different uh, methods for doing that. There's some that are cardboard boxes that you put a visqueen liner in, you fill up the cardboard box, uh, and then you let the concrete dry out and harden, the concrete washout dry out and harden right there on site, and then you just pick it up with a forklift and dump it in the dumpster. There are also other disposable ones that are uh, made out of like a plastic material, a very thick plastic material. The size of the container is a lot smaller, uh, but you don't have to pay a rental fee and you don't have to pay any kind of a dump fee because it just, uh, it just sits there on site, so you just buy the product. You wash out into the concrete washout and then you just use a forklift or a backhoe or, or whatever and you pick it up by the straps and when it's dry, you dump it into the dumpster. Some things to think about with the concrete washout, you know, how much concrete are you going to be pouring? Do you need something, a container that's a lot bigger or can you use something that's smaller that just is disposable and can save you some money?